Hello, my name is Jakob. I am a developer at Psycho, and today I'm going to talk about a new feature that we have in Psycho Rocks, which is the ability to edit layouts as files. Now, we have this kind of UI in, in Psycho Rocks, um, and if you're editing speak layouts, you'll notice that you get a lot of renderings in, in uh, this editor, and it gets a little tricky to to understand how this um, how this layout is actually working. So we tried to fix that in a number of ways. We did some new UI in the previous version of Rocks, which showed this this kind of list as a tree. It wasn't really working. So uh, we tried something new, which is so like representing this list as an XML file instead. Hopefully it should give you a better view of what's actually happening in, in, in a layout. Now I'm not going to use this layout because it gets really complicated really fast. We are going to use this layout instead. And if we have a look at that, it looks like this. Still there's quite a lot of renderings, but we can, uh, we can work with that. It's a little easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a new option, which is this one, Edit Layout File. And as you'll see, we load in an XML file. And this is a human readable version of the renderings field. What you'll see is we have the layout, we have device, and then we start getting all the renderings. And they are represented by their name and not an ID or path or anything instead. We have placeholders like this. We'll get back to that in a minute. We have all the uh, the attributes, properties that you can you can see, and as this is a speak layout, we can actually have put names on these because they are they come from the rendering parameter. Now, what's really nice about this one is we actually get uh, IntelliSense on it. So if I go like this, you can see it produces a drop down. This is all the renderings that are in in my uh, solution or in in my uh, database. So we can pick uh, let's pick a message bar. Um, we also get all the uh, parameters templates, and you can see we have messages, we have all the caching options, tooltips, uh, you name it, we have it right here. So we can go in and we could set, uh, for instance, the ID here, and we'll call this message bar. And now when I save this, Visual Studio will pick it up and make a request to the server and update the layout. So if I go back to this one now, we should see we have the message bar right here. Now, the IntelliSense is actually very good because it also shows us when we do not have defined our right property. You can see I get a squiggly here. The dummy attribute is not uh, declared in the parameters template. So we actually have a very nice uh, validation. Same goes for if I have a, a rendering that does not exist. You can see here. And the final thing I want to show is if we have uh, something that, that um, has a drop down list. So, this alignment, it has a number of, of fixed elements that you can choose. So, I go here, I open IntelliSense, I can say, well, it should go right instead. So, this makes it much easier to edit your layout, I think, personally. Um, one of the things is you can copy paste. So if I go onto this nav bar here and I copy paste this one in, now I get a squiggly here and it says that there's a duplicate key sequence. What this actually means is that the ID over here, we have two renderings with the same ID. I'm just going to rename that to two. Save, you see the squiggly disappears. Let's just check that it's actually in the layer now. I should have two nav bars here, just like that. So the way that this works is that Rocks will create a file and Visual Studio will watch for changes in this file. And whenever the file is changed, it will um, pick up the XML, send it off to the server, which will transform this XML into the renderings field. Um, so there is a one-to-one -one on this. The way it, it tries to resolve um, clashes, if you have two renderings with the same name, it resolves that in an intelligent manner. It also, if you have renderings that cannot be uh, presented as a valid identifier, there are tricks for doing this as well. So this is uh, a new and very exciting way of editing layouts.